Hey everyone, it's Michelle and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I install cut and style this wig to give it these layers. If you guys want to see how I achieve this look, then please continue to watch. All right, so let's just jump right into this tutorial. The wig that I'm rocking today, it's from Mega Look Hair. And this is what the wig looks like. So this is how the lace is looking. This is their Crystal HG lace, by the way. It is super, super thin, you guys. Now, as for the hairline, I did bleach the knots on this wig, but I didn't include it in the video. However, I do have very detailed videos on how to bleach the knots. So I will link one in the description box down below. Now this wig is a body wave 200 density, but I already washed and blow dry this hair because when I bleached the knots, I had to wash the hair. As you can see, I have my HD wig cap on already. So I'm just going to pop this wig on my head and see how it is looking. So this is how the hairline is looking. It looks great, but I do want to go ahead and tweeze some more. So I did some tweezing off camera, but I'm going to show you guys how I create and customize the hairline just so it suits my face better so this is how the hairline is looking i think it looks pretty good in the front but as for the side i wanted to take out some more hair on the side but first things first we are going to go ahead and cut that lace first so i'm going to cut that little air tab part off literally my least favorite part to cut especially when i'm filming now I have worn Mega Looks wigs in the past and I will say the one thing I do notice about their wigs that the hairline is a little bit more on the dense side so it does require tweezing however the knots on this wig were super fine so it was easy to bleach. Now as you can see I took out the two little antlers and <laughs> the two little pieces in the front. I like to create like a widow's peak hairline because I naturally have a widow's peak and I don't like when the wig goes straight across I feel like it doesn't really suit my face but I know not everyone likes this look but that's what I like. Now I'm going to go in with the My Sticky Little Secret Skin Protector and that is the wrong way to use it. Don't ever spray it all over your forehead. Just spray it on a cotton pad and then pat it in gently and you want to wait until it dries. When you just spray it directly, it just leaves the forehead so wet and some people tend to just put the glue down while it's wet and that is a no-no. Next I'm going to go in with the My Sticky Little Secret Lace Glue and I'm going to apply this along my forehead area. Then I'm going to take my rat tail comb and just spread that out like butter. I was a bit heavy handed here today. I did use quite a bit of glue here but the glue dries super super fast. So once it's dry I'm going to go in with another layer and I'm just going to be doing two layers of glue. So I'm just going to apply this the same way I did the first one and wait for it to dry clear. I go in with the blow dry just to speed it up a bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull that lace down. So you always want to wait until it dries clear. If you don't, it's going to look really messy and you're going to see the glue. Now I'm going to go in with the blow dryer and start uh, melting down that lace. All right, so I'm not exactly sure what is going on with my audio. So the audio might sound a little bit low or higher. So please forgive me for that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the sides. I apply the glue at the sides and I wait for it to dry clear. Once it's dry clear, I'm going to go ahead and go in with a blow dryer and just melt that lace into the glue. The good thing about this lace, it is super thin. Honestly, I love working with HD lace because it just melts into the skin so flawlessly. And I'm doing the same thing on the other side as well. Now, if you want your wig installed to look super flawless, do not skip this step. Melt it down twice so i'm going to be doing the double melt method and as you can see i have the melting band on and i'm just going to go in with the blow dryer and i'm going to leave this off for about 10 minutes you guys and then i'm going to go ahead and remove the melting band ciao she looks melted already and we're not even done here so i'm going to go in with my tweezer and just start tweezing away the side because i feel like the side was a bit on the dense side and i want it to look more natural and more realistic so i'm going in with the tweezer and tweezing behind the hairline and this is something i've been doing recently i've been going in with my finger and just taking out some of the hair just pulling out straight from the lace you got to be super gentle with this i do not really recommend doing this but you know i'm very gentle when i do this not to rip the lace but honestly i love how the hairline looks now and i'm very happy with it so now i'm going to go in with the eyebrow razor and just start cutting away all that extra lace i love this hairline like it is given natural so now i'm going to go in with my cuticle scissors you guys know i love using cuticle scissors because it just goes really close up to that hairline and i start cutting away all that extra lace and hair that i don't need to create the most realistic hairline i can get i can tell you right now i did kind of over bleach this hair 
a lot but it still turned out pretty good so i'm going to go in with the my sticky little secret melting spray now and this is what's going to give my wig the most seamless and flawless finish so i apply that and then i go in with the blow dryer and i'm going to go ahead and tie this down again with the melting band this is what's going to make it look super flawless now i want to add some layers to this hair just to give it some body I didn't want it to just lay there flat so I added some layers to the front of the hair and I'll be honest I kind of went a little overboard in the front I did cut it a little shorter than I originally wanted but there's no going back now there's absolutely no going back now so I turned it into a side part and I wanted to take off some of the length off of this hair because it is really long 24 inches is really long on me and I kind of wanted it shorter as well so I don't like doing a lot of baby hairs you guys already know this I like to keep it very minimal so I just kept it really natural and minimal and I'm gonna go in with my t3 curling iron and curl this hair guys I was thinking about getting the Dyson or maybe a Dyson dupes because honestly I'll be honest I'm not the best when it comes to curling if you try to dice in and if it's overhyped, you know, let me know in the comment section, but I actually want to try it because maybe I'll be able to curl better. However, after I curled it, I kind of wish I put um, rollers in it just to give it more volume because I know the rollers would really do their thing, but I didn't bother. But yeah, this is how it is looking. I love the fact that I added layers because I really love how the layers look with the side part. So yeah, this is pretty much the completed look. I love how this whole look turned out. I love how flawless this install is with this lace. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. All the hair info will be in the description box down below. I will see you guys in another video very soon. Thank you. Bye.